Pakistan and Bangladesh have some amazing people fighting for their country, defending it against the evils of their respected worlds, and protecting loved ones and the innocence of their country. And here on FTD Facts, we are looking at these two great nations and seeing what they are indeed all about when it comes to their military. Hey everybody, what's going on? Dave Wapple here and welcome back to FTD Facts, the channel where we talk about people, cultures, and places from all around the world. Now, I'm really excited to be looking at the militaries of these two different nations. Now, we already actually did a part one where we looked at the economy of both Bangladesh and Pakistan. And if you guys missed that, well, you guys could just either wait till the end of the video, or if you want, you could hit, you know, that little card right now. But you know, let's be real, I mean, you gotta mess out on the military stuff, so maybe wait till the end. Now here on the channel, we don't really like to have a negative tone to our comparisons. We are very light and you guys can decide which one is the best for you. It's not really which one is the best in the entire world because all countries have their own stories. Now with that in mind, guys, if you like learning about different cultures from around the world, I suggest you guys hit that subscribe button and that little bell dingy ding thing because you know what, it's great opportunity for you guys to learn and expand your mind about different places from around the world. Now. With that being said, I want to know if you could be in the military, what division would you be in? Would you be in either the Air Force? Who would you be in the Marines? Would you be in the Army? What division would you be in and why? But now let's get started on the facts. Now, looking at Pakistan, it has a manpower of approximately 95 million people, with approximately 75,325,000 people fit for service, and a total personnel of 919,000 people, with an active personnel of 637,000 thousand and about 282,000 in reserve personnel. Now for Bangladesh, it's not as big, but they're still pretty mighty if you ask me. Because for Bangladesh, their manpower sits at 37 million people, with approximately 66 million 110,000 people fit for service. The total personnel of the Bangladesh military forces is approximately 225,000, with an active personnel of 160,000 and 65,000 in reserve units. Now one thing that is different about these two militaries is that they each have different minimum ages to join the military. Now in Pakistan you can be 16 years old and join the military, but for Bangladesh the minimum age you can be is 19 years old. But one thing that's great about both of these nations is their army is all by volunteer basis, so there's no conscription or anything like that. But so we know the numbers, we know how many people there are, but we got to look at the hardware that these two countries have, because sometimes hardware makes up for everything. Now, when it comes to the Air Force, Pakistan has an aircraft strength of 951, with approximately 301 fighters, and the main fighter jet that they use is the Mil Mi-17. Now, their attack craft is 394, with approximately 261 transport, but helicopters sit at 316, with attack helicopters being 52, and their main attack helicopter is the Cobra. Now for Bangladesh, their main aircraft strength is 166, but for their fighters, it sits at 45, with the Chengdu F-7 being their main fighter, being replaced by the MiG-29 in a few years. Their attack craft sits at 45, transport craft at 65, and their helicopter strength is 61, with attack helicopters equaling about 10, and those attack helicopters are Mi-171SHs. So we got the air covered, let's go right down to the ground. Because their combat tanks in Pakistan, they have 2,924 of them, with Type 59 being the most common tank. Their armored fighting vehicles sit at 2,828, and they have approximately 3,743 artillery, with 134 rocket projectors. Now Bangladesh, of course they don't have as many, but they also do use the Type 59 tanks as well. And with all their combat tanks, they equal 534, their armored fighting vehicles sit at 942, their artillery artillery is at approximately 8, and rocket projectors, they have about 32 of them. So we've got ground, we've got air, but what about sea? Let's take a look at their navy. So for their navy, Pakistan has 197 navy assets, with about 10 frigates and 8 submarines, and a bunch of other patrol craft. As for Bangladesh, they have over 89 assets, 6 of them being frigates, 4 corvettes, and a lot more patrol craft and minesweepers as well. And when it comes to this military, we should probably look at even the budget, because budget is as important because it pays for training and it pays for vehicles. Now, Pakistan ranks quite high when it comes to world spending for military, as their budget equals about 2.7% of its GDP, with a budget of $8.7 billion in US dollars. Now, Bangladesh, it is a little bit smaller, with a budget that spends about 3% of its budget, and not including its paramilitary forces and their training, their budget sits at 3.2%. 2 billion US dollars. 
And one thing that's great about these two particular nations is that they each have contributed a lot to UN peacekeeping missions. Both Pakistan and Bangladesh have sent forces to places like Congo, Liberia, Sudan, and the 2000 Cote d'Ivoire operation. And actually, Bangladesh has been ranked number one in the world for providing troops to UN peacekeeping missions because they've supplied over 10,000 troops in their lifetime. So what are your thoughts on these two great nations? Do you have a personal favorite? Let us know down there in the comments section below. But as for me, guys, I look at these two nations and they're so incredible on their own things. They have their own individual special forces that are world famous. And they've also done things for peacekeeping missions and other operations around the world. But my name is Dave Wapo, guys, and it was awesome hanging out with you guys and learning about the militaries of these two great nations. Now, like I said, if you missed our first video on this, you guys could hit the card right up here and you guys could check that video out because it was really interesting learning about the economy and the population and just general information about these two nations. Also guys, don't forget to leave a comment for future FTD facts down there in the comment section below. And if you guys want more stuff from me, you guys can hit me up on my own channel called Picky Nerds. I look at movies and video games and I see how they could actually be improved. So it's a lot of fun that I'm having over there as well. The link for that is in the description box below. But other than that, you guys have yourself a fantastic day and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Oh, hey, and before you guys get out of here, you guys should check out these two playlists. One is a playlist on Bangladesh and the cool places that we've talked about within the country, and one is on Pakistan. We have a lot of stuff for you guys where you can learn and stay tuned in with us every single day. And until the next video, you guys have yourself a fantastic one.